Pride March is always presented to us as some celebration of sexual freedom that gays are now free from persecution. But I think many of us have seen through that and now see what Pride really is, which is ultimately just a liberal festival of degeneracy. It's a form of modern day secular worship. Now, as someone who holds to Christian values, it pains me to see pride flags all the way down Regent Street and then banging their drums and playing music all the time in London. However, I thought I'll just stay out of the way and leave them to it. But that strategy hasn't served as well at all because they just go further and further each year. And I think they're crossing the line, in my opinion, when they start involving kids. Now, call me a fusty old traditionalist, but what you can see on your screen is footage from various pride marches. As you can see, they're simulating BDSM style sexual acts. There's nudity in public in front of children. And they're even dressing kids up as trans, I don't know what they are. Now we're supposed to welcome all of this because of our values of love and tolerance, but none of this has much to do with love if you ask me, and we shouldn't be tolerating this filth either. As I say, if you want to march up and down the street saying, yay, I love getting rogered by another bloke, well, whatever, you know, it's a free country. But once you start involving children and public nudity, it steps over the line. And also, given the festival is supposed to be about tolerance, look how they treat these old Christians. There's only about six of them. They all look over 70, and they're just trying to preach the word of the gospel to the people that they viewed as fallen and lost. Now, as I say, I'm a Christian, and I don't really agree with the pride agenda, but whenever they're marching through the main streets of any city or you have to have some corporate event at work I just keep my mouth shut but look how these people respond to these old Christians who are just simply preaching the word they're not attacking anybody very tolerant aren't they and to be honest these pride marches don't know what's going on anyway they're so addled with booze and speed and poppers they're completely off their heads but how does this even come into our culture in the first place? Well, I'm a father to a young son, and my wife recently sent me this clip. This is of a supposed Christian, quote-unquote, woman, who makes videos for toddlers on Instagram. And this is her view on pride. Happy pride to all of our wonderful families and friends. This month and every month, I celebrate you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're exactly who you are. Now, apologies for not warning you how grating that woman is. Why on earth does someone who makes content for toddlers have to celebrate pride for? The reality is that she's fallen into the twisted moral universe of progressivism. And this is a really important point. I won't bother you with a big theological discussion, but that's what we're really facing in our age. We either have traditional values or we buy into these modern progressive ones that go right to the core of degeneracy. There is no middle ground anymore. We have to pick a side. Finally, as I'm often eager to state, these people are progressives. That means they constantly seek progress or what they term progress. That means they're not going to stop here. They're going to keep pushing that boundary further and further. It's only us that can stand up to that. Anyway, these are some of my thoughts. Please do let me know what you think about this madness down below and please do consider subscribing to the channel.